guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and today I am going to show you my 2022 Bible lineup. It is at the end of the year. We are on December 30th. So we got two more, one more day in this year. And I feel like it's, I find it necessary to talk about this. This is something that I am an advocate for, which is um, letting your content viewers know what Bibles do you plan on studying, reading with them, or teaching from? Because not to say everybody go out and get the same translation, but a lot of people can easily prep right from their phones. And also to get an understanding idea of where my head is at in my own personal journey. So I do want to share that with you guys. Um, I guess I should start with reading. I started reading in this one this year, but I kind of put it down just out of being pregnant and sitting stuff but i keep going back to this when i say i just want to read something and this is the um, good news bible It's the today's english translation i made my own cover so don't go online trying to say i want that one because you won't find it it only comes in solid paper or hardback black brown burgundy and blue i believe um the most the majority one i've seen has been blue navy blue but i made my own cover to make it cute by the way, today's English Good News Bible, this is probably one of a few translations where I can just read straight through and hold on to my understanding without losing anything. And that's the best way I can kind of explain it. The other translations I have, I can read through, but I know like with the NLT, I feel it necessary to write additional notes and underline and highlight and might even possibly go look into another translation. But for some reason with this one, it's like, nah, I got it. I don't need to write anything. I don't need to underline anything. It's just, I got it. So this will be a predominantly reading Bible. Obviously, I've said that before. I do a little highlighting here, but not a lot at all. But it's, and it's large print. So I definitely plan on reading from this one often. That will be for that go and that go only. No writing, no highlighting, just read and um, finish my go. I have my um, Bible Plan, print it out, and we're going to get through the Bible. Amen. Next, I have another one that I've used for reading, but I also, it's a study Bible, but I don't write in this one. And this is, and let me take it out of this case so y'all can see what it is. Um, This one was a gift to my husband, and then he turned around and gave it to me. Um, And that's why I love him. <laughs> um, Which he's not, don't, and please understand, if you ever send him anything, he's gracious He's grateful. He's going to use it. Um, but his thing was, I guess it was just enough for me to say, I always wanted that Bible. And he said, here. <laughs> but anyway, it's in the home. So we both used it. We both had read in it. I used to keep it on the back of my um, bed. But this is the big boy here. This is the Life Application Study Bible NIV large print. I have tabbed it. Didn't even think I was going to do that much, but I did. But so far, I have kept my word. I have not highlighted, underlined, or done anything here. I just bring this out when I want to read. And also, what I've done today, me and my daughter read the book of Jude. So what I did was, I go find Jude, right? And I studied the background, um, the, I, the main idea, the concepts. Um, I find it that in this particular Bible, these are really good and straight to the point. So I find myself using that today. But for the most part, a reading, studying Bible, like no highlight, no underline, no nothing here. Like I have done any of that in here. I'm so proud of myself. But I did tab it because it is such a huge Bible. And it just makes it easier to find where I'm looking at or where I'm going to in this particular Bible. Um, but this one usually is either on the um, chair by the couch where I can just easily grab it because I'm pregnant. So I'm not hopping up and down. Or I usually keep it behind my bed. Um, where I could just grab it and say, okay, I want to read from that tonight or keep it where he also can get to it. But like I said, he's typically, whereas NIV is my go-to, it is his least favorite translation. So he doesn't really bother with it that much. And that might be why he was so eager to just hand it over to me, right? Um, what's next? Okay, so these two study Bibles I had in my favorite study Bible video. So be sure to check that out if you haven't done so. And that still remains the same. Um, even though when I picked this one up, it's mainly just to reread something to get a better understanding. But this is my Crossway 
ESV study Bible personal size. I have put it down because of the font size. And I'm like, ooh, when you went, you know, I went to the eye doctor for the first time and it said, yeah, you no longer have 2020. And it's like, I wonder if this, <laughs> this is the reason why. But nonetheless, I definitely would say that this is probably one of the top study Bibles in this whole entire house. Um, ESV is a great translation for word for word and having the comprehension understanding you would if you was reading thought for thought. Absolutely love this. Um, I do write in here. I highlight in here. I don't do a lot because like I said, when I come in here, it's usually to compare the text with something else. Um, oftentimes I find myself paralleling the following, my ESV with NIV and New King James with NLT. That seems to just fit to me. Um, I don't know why. I'm, you may comment down below which parallels have you made that works best for you, but I do encourage and I highly recommend paralleling, uh, paralleling <laughs> translations to get a great understanding, especially if you have like a paraphrase translation or thought for thought. I highly recommend um, paralleling that with a word for word translation. So, and I've done a video on that. But anyway, so this is my baby. This is my go to. Kind of sad that I did choose to get this in personal size, but I still use it. I just got to make sure I grab my glasses. Um, but that's this one right here. Um, my next one where I go to to read mostly is my King James Home and Study Bible. This has been with me for a very long time before all of these other Bibles. And I do have highlighting. I have a little bit of notes in here. Um, but primarily this one is definitely for reading as well and studying and comparing. This one, I would say, has the best commentary notes in here or um, notes at the bottom. Me personally, these are the best ones um, overall. Now, the, like I said, the Crossway one is good too. But when I really want to make sure I get what I'm getting out of something, I'm definitely going to this one. Um, many of you saw the video where I said one thing about a life application study Bible. It has general information in the notes, but it doesn't have like... I'm ready to crunch time in-depth study notes in the um, bottom of the page. It doesn't have that in my personal opinion. It just it's kind of have something that kind of leads you on the right track maybe. And just like I said, it's a life application study Bible. So it kind of helps and give you an idea of how to apply it to your life. But as far as like this in-depth apologetic study, no, not the life application study Bible. Not That's my personal opinion. But this one right here in the crossway, um, if that's what you're into, in-depth study, those are the go-to. But um, the print is small in this one too. However, you can see off the back though that the print is darker. So this one doesn't give me as much trouble reading as reading the ESV one, but they both are personal sizes. Okay, so I got one more Bible because obviously, yes, I want to study. I want to get close to the God, but it will not be all work and no play. <laughs> you have to have some type of balance, but I'm um, not sure to what extent I plan on playing. Um, I will be primarily in the Inspire Prayer um, as far as coloring. Um, I don't think I'm a highlight in this one. I'm not sure yet, but I haven't yet. And I think this one is going to be kept clean so that I can still enjoy it for reading as well as my color on the side. That makes sense. Like I still want to read in here. I still want to study in here. Maybe put sticky notes in here, write my prayers on the side. But for the most part, I want to keep it as clean as it is. And I've had this Bible for a little over a year now, and it's very clean. The only difference I did was my DIY Bible tabs. But um, because I know I still have moments where I need to de-stress, I need to color and stuff, and have the best of both worlds, like study, write my prayer, and color. And that's the only Bible I can do that out of all the other Bibles I showed you guys. Because the other Bibles are not for that, and I don't want to make them that at all. So this Bible was designed for that, and that's what I'm going to use it for, because I bought it. But that's my Bible lineup. So that's one, two, three, four, five Bibles that I plan on interchanging, touching through 2022. Um, for the most part, on camera, you guys will probably see um, the Inspired Prayer and the KJV Study Bible and the Crossway Study Bible is probably the ones that you'll see 
predominantly on camera. Cause like I said, this one would just be, I'm reading through, you know, so you might not see this as often. Um, and because I understand everybody doesn't have this translation. So this will be more so like a personal reading. Um, the life application study Bible, you may see that. I don't know. I don't see myself showing it that often because that's NIV. And a lot of you don't care too much for NIV either. So I really want to do some in-depth studies and some communication back and forth with us. Like I want to go live and just generally open up our Bibles and talk about it. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a minister. That's my husband's job. And he does that on my other channel. But I do want to really just dig in God's word and share my passions and listen to you guys. And we all just come together and spend time fellowshipping and be brother, well, be sisters in Christ, right? So that's my lineup. Tell me what you think. Tell me. Do you y'all know me? Y'all see me changing anything? Um, do you have any comments on what I've chosen? Let me know. Do you think I overwhelmed myself? Because that's another thing, too. Like, I started out saying I'm going to touch all these Bibles last year, and I literally end up being narrowed down to three. Um, and <laughs> it ended up having no study Bibles in that, but like every now and then. But that's also, I can say, giving glory, honor to God, that my understanding has changed as well. So, again, tell me what you think. What are your lineups? How many you have? What studies? Like, do you have a, per, a general study that you definitely want to touch on? Whether it be word study or a certain book or concept or application of life? Let me know that in the comment section as well. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.